Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how, why, and when to use a capo. First of all, what is a capo? Well, a capo is a clamp. Use this clamp to hold down strings at any given fret so that the strings react as if we were holding them down. Wherever we put that capo is where our notes start on the guitar. If we want the notes to be the normal ones that are found on the guitar, we leave the capo off and we get E, A, D, G, B, and E. Now, if we want the low E to become an A note, we go up to the fifth fret. Now, the open notes become A, D, G, C, E, and A. In other words, if we place the capo at any point on the neck of the guitar, we get different notes. For instance, here, we're going to get a G note on the low E string. So basically what we're doing is we're transposing the guitar when we use the capo. Why do we need a capo? The first reason is to transpose keys. But our biggest reason is to avoid bar chords. That's right. There's a lot of folks who cannot do bar chords and a lot of other people who just hate them. Okay? Bar chords are difficult to do for most people, but you can learn to do bar chords. If you know how to do bar chords, you really don't need a capo. But if you can't do bar chords, the capo comes in really handy. A lot of the songs out there are in difficult keys. If you now anytime you're trying to play a song and you can use open chords like G, C, D, E minor, and A minor, you don't need a capo. But if your song is in the key of E flat or B flat, a capo is going to come in really handy because a B flat chord is made this way which can be difficult for a lot of folks. Or, you'd have to make it this way. Right? What we're going to do is place the capo at fret 3. Now, all we have to do is play a G chord. Two frets up. And we've got a nice B flat chord. We can play G, C, and D for our song. If you want to play in the key of E flat, all you have to do is start with a C. Go to F, and then back to G. Alright? Now, our song is very easy to play. If you're trying to transpose keys, to raise keys, all you have to do is place your capo at the first fret to raise the key by one half step. Fret 2 to raise it a whole step, and so on. So it's a great transposing tool. Another great thing about capos is that they are very inexpensive. You can get one online for as low as five bucks. All right, that's the how, why, and when to use a capo. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.